Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I'm going to demonstrate how to run a Node.js application in a Kubernetes pod which accesses a Mongo database which is running in another pod using Kubernetes Minikube. Let us start the demo by starting the Minikube. The local Kubernetes cluster is coming up. The local Kubernetes cluster has come up and the Kubernetes command line is now configured to use the cluster. First, let us review the YAML files. So we have two YAML files. First, let's review the employee YAML file. So using this YAML file, we are going to create a service and a deployment. So we are going to create a MyEMP service and then we are going to create a deployment with a simple container that is the MyEMP container which is going to make use of the image employee and the container port is 8888 where the Node.js server is running. So now let us review the Mongo YAML file. Here again using this YAML file we are going to create a service Mongo service and then we are going to create a deployment where we are going to run the Mongo container. Now let us create the deployment. So the service Mongo and the deployment Mongo has been created. Let us confirm that. See the Mongo service is running. Now let us check the port status. Get the pod information. So we could see that Mongo pod is running successfully. Now let us create the employee deployment on the service. So the service and the deployment has been created. Let's confirm that. my hyphen EMP service has been created. Now let's check for the pod. The employee pod is also running. There we have specified the replicas as three. So that's why we are seeing three pods running. Now let us check the node port because we'll be able to access the application using the node port. In case of when while creating the service for the MyEMP, we have specified the type as node port. So let us check the uh, description of the service MyEMP. Describe service. So now we will be able to access the application in the port number 31346 using the Minikube IP. So let's check the IP of the Minikube. IP is 192.168.99.100 and with this port number we will be able to access the application. Applications running in a pod can access the service using the environment variables. So in our case we have accessed the Mongo database running as a service using the Mongo service environment variables mongo underscore service underscore port and the mongo underscore service underscore host. Now let us access the application and check. So the application has been launched successfully. Now let us perform some operations to confirm that the Node.js application running in a different pod is able to access the mongo db service which is running in another pod. Let's add an employee. Then click add. We could see that the employee with ID 111111 has been successfully added to the employee collection. Let's go to the home page and perform some other operation. 
let's update the information for this particular employee let's make him a area manager let's update the salary also click update so the employee with the employee id the information has been updated let's go to the home page let's get the employee information so now we have the latest updated information let's go to the home page if required we can delete the employee information so as part of this demo we have seen how to run a node.js application in a kubernetes pod and similarly run a mongo container in another pod and make the node.js application access the mongo database which is running in a different pod thanks for watching the demo